This is the heart of the LHC particle accelerator, a 27 kilometer long ring of magnets 100 meters underground. Cycling once around the ring takes over an hour. The particles, on the other hand, do it in less than one ten thousandth of a second, circling in opposite directions through two parallel pipes until they have reached velocities close to the speed of light. When the scientists let the particle beams collide, they produce a tiny but extremely hot fireball in which new particles are created. Four detectors are on hand to register the new particle's properties, such as their trajectories and energy. The largest one is called Atlas. It's as big as the Brandenburg Gate and as heavy as the Eiffel Tower. All the detectors are built up of several layers in which the newly created particles will leave their traces. And to keep the parent particles on track, all the magnets must maintain the same magnetic field. Otherwise, the particles would crash into the walls and destroy the machine. The less than one millimeter wide beam that will soon be hurtling through here has as much energy as a high-speed train. Another challenge is that the superconducting magnets have to be kept extremely cold. Achieving that requires about 100 tons of liquid helium. Never before have such huge quantities of this dangerous fluid been used at once. It's a daunting enterprise. The scientists have to monitor 1,700 electrical circuits to keep their super machine running. And soon the real work is supposed to begin, the hunt for the Higgs boson. It's named after the Scottish physicist Peter Higgs, who predicted the existence of this theoretical elementary particle in 1964. It's never actually been seen. The Higgs boson has divided the experts into admirers and skeptics. Its existence is based on a highly mathematical theory devised by Higgs and other physicists. To explain, all atoms have a nucleus, and that in turn is composed of building blocks. One of those building blocks is called a proton. It contains three particles called quarks. Together, they ought to weigh as much as the proton they constitute. But physicists did the measurements and found that protons are a hundred times heavier than their building blocks. There was no adequate explanation for the missing mass. Peter Higgs's theory provided a solution to the problem. It maintains that all particles interact with a so-called Higgs field. This interplay gives the particles their mass, which is transmitted by the Higgs boson. But so far, no one has actually found one. Scientists hoped the Large Hadron Collider would make it possible. But in September 2008, disaster struck. A connector cable warmed up, causing huge quantities of helium to evaporate. The resulting shock wave destroyed several magnets and tore them from their mountings. Since then, the LHC has been undergoing repairs.